hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is clara and today we are reading truth this is reading truth to row and this is for the sign of cancer um and i already pre-shuffled the cards this may or may not resonate with everyone um do take what resonates and leave oh boy here we go i'm shaking everything sorry about that guys <laughs> do take what resonates with you and leave her, uh, leave everything else behind if it doesn't but here we go starting with your signifier you have the five of pentacles representing the earth signs this is feeling out in the cold not having enough maybe either you or someone else feels out in the cold maybe out of in a relationship Maybe you feel like you don't have enough money, but you are being blessed by the divine. Someone could be coming in and offering you love. This represents Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Not necessarily, but it, well, the cards do. I just need to be clear on that. Here you are taking a rest in the Four Swords. Maybe you need some self love, self care. A little relaxation maybe you've been working hard or you know doing too much maybe you're just taking some time for you know a little retreat but you're coming back to fight and to go forward with whatever it is you need to do whether it be work a work situation or a love situation here crossing you is the tempers card cancer we need to get some patience this is the card of patience. Maybe you feel the universe is not working quickly enough to put things together for you, but it is. You're just not seeing it yet. This is this one represents Sagittarius. So this card is the card of Sagittarius. It's a beautiful card. The universe is working in alignment for you, but it is going to take patience. You need to have patience because that's why it's crossing you. For some reason, you're not patient enough. Here in your foundations, Cancer, you do have the Six of Wands, the, a card of success. People seeing you in a successful light. Um, people are watching you. Whatever you're doing, whether it's at work in a relationship, in a situation, you are being successful at it. People are watching you. Like, people see you, Cancer. Here in the recent past, you do have the Hermit card. The, the Hermit card is also a sign of uh, Virgo here. The Hermit card is going within. This was in the recent past. Maybe you didn't have answers to something and now you do because he's holding the lantern he's guiding you so if you've gone into meditation or even through your dreams he might have guided the truth to you this is also self-isolation going within being quiet not being really vocal or open with anyone kind of just going within and that was in the recent past in your present, you have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles also represents the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It also represents um, juggling, juggling two situations, whether it be two people, two jobs, two, two situations. It could be work. It could be school and work. Maybe you have a job and you're trying to transition into a business and you're trying to start your own business. And maybe you want to transcend from that job to a business. And your ships are coming in as well, back behind you there. You may want to go abroad or somewhere. You might want to travel. You might leave one situation for another. Sorry for the glare. In your future position here, you do have the Knight of Wands. You may be getting creative. You may be getting a message from a fire sign about love or work. It could be passionate communications with a fire sign. Fire signs being Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Now, the message could come from one of them or it, not necessarily. You might just get a call of passion. Maybe it is a Sagittarius. 
Maybe you feel you can't get to the Sagittarius. Maybe there's something blocking you guys. Maybe this pandemic. Here you are in the Death card. I feel like you've gone through a transformation because this is this, this is the card of Scorpio. Now, this is the card of shedding old skin, a death of your old ways, a death of the old ways of thinking, shedding old skin, spiritually transforming, ascending. This is also new beginnings. Usually the Death card in the original um tarot is like an offer like a cup of something like there's a he's usually holding a cup like he's offering you something he's coming in with an offer so you might be coming in with a new offer someone might be offering you something maybe a scorpio maybe the person is a scorpio here you have the ace of swords representing the air signs it represents Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And this is clear thinking. This is success. This is probably love communication as well as you have a dove. Doves are about love. But it's a clear thinking, clear, you know, to cut to the chase communication. It could be from one of these air signs. It could be from anybody, but... Someone is coming in with clear communication about maybe how they feel. Maybe you need to stay clear. This is a thing of maybe stay, needing to stay clear, having clarity. So if you've doing, been drinking or anything like that, then this is the time to stop. Because maybe you might need it for even a new job. Don't block yourself. Here in your hopes and fears, you have the justice card. The justice card could be where something was an un unbalanced and now it's probably balanced. Maybe you're fearing that maybe if there's a, a legal case against you or something like that, that it won't turn out in your favor. But I believe it will because this is in the upright position. Things are coming into balance. If there's a judgment to be had here, it will be fair or it will turn. it will come in your favor. It will be in your favor. And your outcome card is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups representing water signs, representing Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. It also represents a coming together, a celebration, a reunion. You may be having a reunion with someone after some time, maybe a long time. Maybe it's people coming in for you to help you build something. Now, it doesn't have to be water signs, but it does re represent like that emotional happiness as well. Celebration. I had an extra card come up for you, and this is the card of Capricorn. I'm sorry, air signs. Could be Capricorn, could be Virgo or Taurus. This is the card of abundance, of having it all. Maybe the person, you see them as having everything maybe you feel like you have everything at the top of the deck someone is coming in with a cup of love an offering or maybe you're doing the offering someone is coming in with a cup of love for you cancer uh -oh, or proposal either you're proposing or someone is proposing to you and this represents the water signs. This represents, you see the emotional, the water, it's emotional, it's beautiful. This is representing someone coming in quick and they're offering you a cup of love, a cup of commitment, maybe an engagement. At the bottom of the deck, I just took the top part though. Here you are. Uh, cancer you came in into your reading and you're at the bottom of the deck and here you are you're moving past something or moving towards something you may be traveling to go and see someone it could be either a fire sign it could be an earth sign what do you have here you have Scorpio I see a lot of fire sign too 
say water signs could be another fellow water sign but here you are moving towards something and moving past something maybe you're leaving the past behind to move forward to something that you really want I'm gonna put down my lover's oracle and it's gonna be for past, present, future, and outcome. Let me just shuffle this. Okay, I got three <laughs> so far. Okay, so, and I gotta shuffle for one more, but here you go, past. And it says, freedom there is nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be the path is clear it's up to you it could be just a mental thing where you're overthinking things as well you're overthinking a situation present and it says close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in so whatever it is that you're in you do deserve to be happy maybe you're feeling too down and hard on yourself i think you need to give yourself some more love some self-care some stop the negative self-talk um self negative self-talk i don't know how i said that but okay um you have to go within and love yourself before you can love another you are worthy just remember that we are all worthy. Future. And it says playfulness. It says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember love is the greatest healer. As long as you have he uh, love, everything will heal. Everything will get better. Things will come together for you. I need my outcome card, you guys. Okay, I'm pulling this from the middle of the deck. Here we go. It just called out to me. And this is for your outcome. And it says, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. When you see yourself in a higher light and you project that onto someone and you're always giving the best of yourself, they will give it back and they will project that back to you. Always remember that. So now I'm going to put down my angel answers card. I want you to think of a question. I'm going to do group one, group two, and group three. This is group two. You're going to focus on one card and think of a question you have for that card. Group three. Okay. Group one is Lapis, group two is Amethyst, and group three is Jasper. All right, pick a card, Have think of a question. And the card will give you that answer. So just stick with one card. You can't go to all the cards now. All right, so Lapis. And this is for group one. Oops, we're shaking here. And it says, look for a sign. I got that for someone else I can't remember. Group two. It says, take action. You know, listen. Forward movement. Go forward. Go after what you want. Take action. Group three is Jasper. This one says no. So whatever that question was, that's a no. Okay. And guys, that's what I have for you today. Please do check out my good friend, Phoenix Gibbs, uh, for some Oracle healing cards. And um, she does a lot of um, healing she has her seven-day cleansing baths, all kinds of goodies, bracelets, jewelry. Check out her, her website. I also, I'm going to 
put her link in the description box. I'm also going to put a link there for private readings. Um, if you want to uh, have a private reading, I do have a special going on for the Halloween week from now to November 1st for $15. I'm also selling tarot cards and I have like one is a sexual, he, uh, sexual tarot and the other one is a gilded tarot. And so each of them are on sale for $15. You, I should have the link below in the box, in the description box. I'm tongue-tied. We're in Merc Mercury retrograde. <laughs> um, do share, subscribe, uh, comment, like. If this resonated with you, please do comment. Do share this video if um, maybe it resonated with someone you know, if you're a cross-watcher. Also, um, these, even though I stamped the time on it, they are timeless. Time is fluid with these cards. So if you don't see it just yet, it will come. Um, just pay attention. And that's why you can always go back to the video. So do subscribe so you can always go back on the videos. All right, guys. I love you. Cancer, be good. Um, namaste. Love you guys.